Rasen aufwühlen. We are in Austria. Uh, I live in a small city called Bregenz and I moved here like three or four years ago because I lived in a big city, Frankfurt, before and I just wanted to get uh, a bit more kind of an easy life, a bit more quiet and coming from a big city, coming to here, you know, we have a lake in the background, we have the mountains, we have a lot of yeah, calm people, so it feels like it, it's a decelerated life again and that's what I, what I needed and obviously it's, it's a, uh, a lot more life quality compared to, to a big city. Yeah, for me it's very important to have a, yeah, a hometown where it's a bit more relaxed, a bit more calm because our, our job as a race driver is, is quite stressful, especially over the race weekend. We have a lot of pressure, a lot of appointments, a lot of media attention and uh, it's, a, it's a very yeah, stressful life, let's say, between, between the races as well. And it's always good to, to come, calm down a little bit and uh, just relax and have you know, the opportunity to, to go swimming or to go hiking or just surround yourself with, with, with easy people. Uh, yeah, when I'm back home, obviously um, I try to enjoy as much time as I can with my family, spending time with my son, with my girlfriend. That's uh, what I like the best. And on the, on the side, I do some, some mountain bike in the mountains, uh, some swimming um, in the lake sometimes, but also some, uh, yeah, some longboarding because we have some nice places around the lake here in Brigands. And uh, especially in summer, it's quite nice to just go around with a longboard a little bit. I would always say the more quiet it is, the better it is, because you have less distractions. And for me, it's the best place to, to calm down, to analyze what happened during the weekend. I can sit in the corner somewhere in my garden and uh, really relax and think about what happened uh, during the race weekend, can analyze better. So I have all the, yeah, the ingredients I need basically for, for having the best performance on track as well. Uh, for sure, it's part of my success that I, I try to analyze everything and to understand everything. Uh, for sure, that's what I did when I was already very young and um, something my, my father probably gave me because he's also like that. He's uh, writing down, down every lap, every lap times, every sector times and he can analyze very well. And I think I just copied him. So um, that's what I do and then what brings basically is the success because I can basically understand why am I successful and why I am not. Uh, yeah, the main, main topic is obviously data analyzing. Um, you have basically a graph um, and I can see myself every lap of every uh, session basically and then I can take uh, for example Nico's lap time and overlay it with my lap time and I can exactly see where he breaks, how quick he goes through the corner, which gear is he using, when is he going on throttle, how hard is he going on throttle. These kind of things um, are helping me to understand where I'm losing or where I'm gaining and um, if, you, if you understand why somebody is quicker then you only need to, to do it on, on track, so uh, just try to uh, yeah, memorize what you learned and try to put it on track, which is also not very easy, but um, that's basically what I do. Um, yeah, nowadays obviously simulator is a big part of, of our yeah, preparation, let's say. We have a simulator at Audi Sport, we have a simulator at Rosberg and I have a simulator at my home. So normally we do one day uh, at simulator at Audi Sport, one day at Rosberg before the race weekend and if still I need some more, lap, some more laps, I go my own simulator and just do some procedures. Obviously now at the end of the season you have two or three rivals which you, you focus on. Obviously when I finish qualify I want to know where is Marco and where is Nico. That's, that's quite, quite normal I would say because I don't really care about um, yeah, the rest of, of the field when, when we are only fighting with three or two drivers against, uh, against each other. And that's uh, my main uh, opponent and I want obviously to know where, where, where they are after qualifying. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. I mean, um, maybe it's a bit easier to, to fight against someone against a different brand um, because in the end um, it's... it's difficult to fight against an Audi on track because we know that we don't want any contact, uh, we don't want uh, you know any uh, stupid uh, mistakes from one or each other, what happened exactly at Norris Ring, we don't want to see that again. So um, it's, it's, it's tough fighting against uh, an Audi on track because if there's uh, contact it always looks 
not that not that nice. So uh, you know, fighting against another man, another manufacturer, you can always a bit be a bit harder, and uh, that's why it's easier racing against uh, Marco in that point of view. But I think Nico is a very fair and very tough uh, opponent on track. So I think we will see some uh, very cool races and battles between each other in the future. I would say between Nick, me and Nico, it's still quite relaxed, I have to say. We raced uh, a 24-hour race together two or three weeks ago. With a, we have a very easy relationship. We still talk. There is no, um, yeah, no negative feeling between each other. Um, but we respect each other, I would say, quite a lot. And uh, we are quite professional drivers, both of us. And we can, or we understand uh, the meaning of fighting on track against each other and behaving uh, yeah, beside the track. So there is no problem whatsoever. Um, but obviously we fight for the championship and um, at the end of the year it's always getting, getting a bit more tangent. But uh, so far I think it's all good. Qualify is a big part of this year's championship. I gained uh, 27 points in qualify already and I'm only 20 points ahead of Nico. So without those qualify points I would most likely be not uh, in the leading position. So there we see how, how important it is to have qualify points. But on the other hand, it's always important to start in the front of the, of the grid because if you're in the, in the middle or in the, in the back of the grid, there is always some uh, yeah, chaos happening. And that's why it's always good to be in front for the points, but also for the, for the race position. Um, no, not, not no more tension. It's just um, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to the next one because Nürburgring, we have been very strong last year. We won both races two times on quali uh, pole position and qualify. So uh, that's actually the race I look most, uh, most of the year forward to. Um, because Lauder's Ring, I haven't been very qu uh, quick last year. We had an excellent Lauder's Ring. So Lauder's Ring was one of the races where I was basically uh, uh, the, f the most feared about. And we were leading both races in Lauder's Ring. So that shows how, how competitive we are. And hopefully we can continue the trend like last year at Nurek Ring and finish on a high there as well. This would obviously give me a bit of advantage if I would uh, be ahead of Nico there, um, because Hockenheim, I think we are all strong. But yeah, there is there is more tension. Obviously, four races only to go, and uh, the championship lead is is not that big. So um, obviously, there is a bit of pressure.